Well, I hate it when that happens. Yesterday I was out working on the hide scraper for J. Noel, and my battery went dead and I didn't see it. Here's where I'm at. Notice the little bit of an arc here and the radius around here. And here's where I use that, uh, oh, what to call it, swaging block or whatever. I can't even think what you call it. But I cut that, or hammered that groove in all the way around there so it might make a place for your hand, fingers to go when you're scraping. I um, think I've got it pretty even and straight. I made a swage to drive in there. And I heated that baby up red hot and drove this swage in from both sides. But it wasn't quite right. This is a little too small for the hammer handle I have, which is outside right now. So I just finished making another one to drive in there. And I'll try to get it drove in straight and, and true. So that's what I'm going to be doing next is heating this thing up red hot in this area. So I can drive my swage in there. Now, you, yesterday, the last thing I did was I heated this the whole thing up red hot and then just set it on top of the coals and let everything go out and cool down real slow to normalize the steel, which kind of gets all the molecules back in order, I guess. Because uh, sometimes when you don't do that and you dip this in the oil or water to, to harden it, it'll crack and shatter. So... I will probably go ahead and work on this, driving that in there, and then I'll normalize it again, and then uh, work on getting it polished up and finished up. Let's go out to the forge. I've already got it lit. Okay, I got a nice set of champion tongs here. I'm not sure where I found these at. I'm gonna pull it out. Trying not to get the blade in too hot, I just want the head hot. Trying to get it so it's straight through there. It's not quite what I want. Not 
sure how to do it though. Okay, I got the, the hole for the handles switched out the way I want it, I think. Now I'm going to stick it in the, the fire here and get the whole thing red hot to where it's non-magnetic. I have a magnet right here on my flue so that I can uh, take it out with the tongs. See if it sticks. If it doesn't stick, then I'm just going to lay it down there and let it cool real slow. Uh, kind of a second normalizing process after I did some more work on it. I'll bring you back when it's good and hot. Got to be careful. You don't want the blade to overheat before the rest of it gets hot burn the end of it off. pull on it at all, even though that blade part isn't really that red, it cool off quick. We'll just let it set there and cool down. I guess I'm done with the forge. Thanks for watching part two, and I'll try to get part three up pretty quick. That will be me finishing off the, uh, the blade of it and sharpening it and kind of prettying it up a little bit. We'll see. Thanks for watching.